Okay, Nirvana have joined me on the Headbangers Ball from Roskilde in Denmark and I'm very pleased to welcome the guys to Headbangers Ball on MTV Europe for the first time. So, uh, hi guys, welcome. Hi. hi. Hey, where's Ricky Rockman anyway? Who do you think you are? Ricky Rachmanov, Boris Berdnoff <laughs> and Natasha. Okay, now uh, in just about a year you guys have gone from kind of like the underground stage to the, like the world stage. Uh, have you had any time to enjoy your success? Well, all the world's a stage, and misery and heartache. <laughs> Only pain, suffering, and death. I wish I just would have blown my head off and gone straight to hell. I know, that's so right. That's awful. No, but seriously, you've been on tour a lot, and uh, that's a very grueling routine. Um, we don't tour that much anymore. We take it easy now. We wear the pants in this family. And we wear the skirt in this family, because I came from a family with a really dominant mother. <laughs> Hey, now, little heavy metal boys, shave your head and wear a dress. Whee! Do you ever feel now that you're suffering from the kind of Guns N' Roses syndrome where people want to take uh, more interest in like the gossip and the hype surrounding you rather than the music? That is just so bad. I mean, Rona Barrett, I mean, remember her? She was a big writer for like uh, the Weekly World News or oh, something yeah. like that. Was gossip. Oh, what, was it just in America, though? I think it was just for... in America, oh. yeah. And you know, that's like... The Merv Griffith syndrome, right? I mean, Jeepers Creepers. A, I don't know, that's just like soap opera, right? That's just like the days of our lives, the days of Nirvana, you know? Dave, but I mean, this. I have to leave you because <laughs> I'm going out with Kurt now. <laughs> and that, that's really happening in this band. That's some dirt on this band. We want people to come to our shows and just forget about their problems. I mean, it's not at all. I mean, it's also good to have a dialogue sparked up, but to, you know, be some kind of leader or something like leaders really suck and ideologies really suck. I mean, you have to be responsible for yourself and long-winded, <laughs> what is it, diatribe or whatever, I don't know. Now, we've got the uh, video, for, the new video for, for Lithium on the way. Um, how much do you think that, that video has contributed to your success? The lithium video? No, just video in general. Oh, a lot in a lot in the states because MTV is a really big, popular thing in the states. I, I realize that it's not that popular in, in Europe, but um, it has a lot to do with uh, making or breaking a band in the states. So. I mean, all your videos. You know, everything to MTV in the states. That's right. All your videos have been really different and uh, not a, not a cliche in sight, really. Um, that is a medium that's difficult for a band to have control over because you don't really, you know, your your the video is in the hands of the director kind of thing. Not Do you? Kirk Levine around. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little Napoleon. He's a little Napoleon, right? So they really come out as per you wanted them to represent the song kind of thing. Well, yeah, it's I mean, not with Chris Novoselic around. That's right. As I stomp my foot on the ground, asserted assertingly, and raise a lot of dust. I stomp the ground like a rooster, and I peck the ground like a chicken. Yes, this is this is very serious stuff. And very quickly, um, you know, you've done a lot of uh, touring. You've seen lots of different parts of the world and lots of different cultures. Do you think that that may have some effects uh, on your songwriting in the future? That you've absorbed some more influences, kind of thing. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, no, maybe so. I don't know. I'm all confused. Your point, you don't know it. Hey, it's yeah. nice to see the world. I don't know, I mean, yeah. We've, got, we've been sure. to so many places and seen a lot. You know, we were like in West West Belfast the other day, and that was really wild. Singapore. That was one of the best shows we've ever had in Belfast. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. The, the reception was incredible. Are you able to write on the road, or is it something that you'd rather have a break after a tour and then go back to writing? Uh, we hardly ever write on tour. Hardly ever. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. It's been most interesting. And uh, right now, on the Headbangers Ball, we are going to see uh, your new video for Lithium.